startup and regulatory specialist at a CRO called Cineos Health and I've been in the industry for almost seven years. So as a startup and regulatory specialist, I specialise in the submissions of um, new studies in the UK and Ireland to the regulatory authority and ethics committees. Um, so I am Scottish, as you can probably hear, so I went to high school in Scotland. Um, we do hires um, when we are in fifth and sixth year of school. Um, I remember enjoying and knowing that I was good at biology um, at the time, but I'm also maths, so my subjects were kind of focused on biology and maths. I knew if I then wanted to do some sort of science at university, um, I would also need chemistry, so my hires were based around biology, chemistry, maths and English because you need English for pretty much everything. So after um, high school I knew I wanted to go straight into university. I got um, into University of Edinburgh to study biomedical sciences. Um, in Scotland the degrees are four years. Um, so in your fourth year you specialise and you do an honours degree. Um, I specialised in reproductive biology. I mean, the reason I chose biomedical sciences as such a broad degree was that I've always been really bad at decisions so I didn't want to choose, <laughs> choose a really pinpointed degree when I was 16 years old um, to then know that I only had one job choice at the end of it. I wanted as broad a uh, degree kind of as possible in a, in a subject that I really enjoyed so I think that suited me really well. So I didn't really think about jobs whatsoever during uni until my final year. Um, we were kind of made to think in a way that the natural progression was obviously to do a master's or PhD. Um, which for a while I thought that I would maybe want to do it but I was also not wanting to do it. I wanted to start earning money pretty quick. Um, <laughs> so my top tip would be to start thinking about career choices as early on as possible. So when I graduated from uni my first um, job was at a CRO called Medpace. I kind of fell into the position that I was in. They had a position called intern, which um, recruited graduates, science graduates. Um, and the idea was you would get to taste various um, departments of the um, company for six months. So I got dropped into the regulatory submissions department, kind of by default. Um, really enjoyed it um, and stayed in that position for six months and then after that I became a regulatory submissions coordinator. I ended up staying at Medpace in that role for almost four years um, and to be honest that's probably where I learned the majority of my submissions um, expertise today and clinical trials in general because I didn't have much knowledge beforehand. Um, as I was coming up to four years at Medpace, I then decided that I wanted a new adventure. Um, I wanted to see the rest of a trial instead of just focused on startup. I hadn't seen any other part of a trial yet. Um, I also wanted to expand my mind into seeing non-commercial trials as well. Um, so I moved down to London and started at the Cancer Research Clinical Trial Centre. Um, where I was a study coordinator um, managing non-commercial cancer trials. Um, I stayed there for almost two years um, and I knew fairly quickly that um, commercial trials was where I was wanting my, the rest of my career to go and then I moved back into commercial trials with a CRO called Cineos Health um, and that's where I currently am in my current role as startup and regulatory specialist. The, um, to feel out the commercial side of clinical trials and the non-commercial side, the processes, the structure, the way that trials work are very, very different. Um, 
commercial trials um, are definitely faster paced they are they tend to be bigger there's more a lot more money put into them compared to commercial non commercial trials um there's not enough there's 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 little money um, put into them because obviously they're getting funded by charities etc um so they're very different paced trials um when you work for non-commercial trials, from my experience, you end up doing a bit of everything. So every single part of the trial from start to finish. Whereas with commercial trials, because they're a lot bigger um, and it tends to be the CROs or pharma companies, run, car companies running them, um, you have one part, one small part of that whole trial um, in a specific department.